Although I fell in love with the speed and portability, the MacBook Air, just like all the recent MacBook range by Apple, have never been renowned for their repairability. RAM is soldered to the mainboard and drives use proprietary connections. There's not much we can do with soldered parts, but when it comes to proprietary connections, the folks over at Otherworld Computing are quick to jump on the mark and finally give owners of the post-2013 MacBook Airs and Retina MacBook Pros a way to increase their internal storage well beyond Apple's offerings with the Aura SSD. If you're firmly in the Apple Mac ecosystem, chances are you'll heard of OWC, and their latest Aura PCIe-based flash storage upgrades are precisely engineered for your Mac. This means there should be complete compatibility without the need for any trim enablers or any other such software leaving you to enjoy higher capacities. And we have the perfect example here with a 1TB SSD. It's not all plain sailing though, there are some drawbacks that need to be considered, and we'll cover those as we progress. But nevertheless what I have here is a complete upgrade kit, along with the user manual, is the Aura 1TB drive itself, the OWC Envoy enclosure complete in a carry pouch used for housing the Apple SSD that comes out of the MacBook, a USB 3 cable used with the Envoy enclosure, and a set of screws and drivers. Everything we'd need to replace the drive as well as make use of the existing SSD. There's not much to see with the Aura drive itself other than a large heatsink on one side covering some of the flash chips along with a Silicon Motion 2246 XT flash controller and a Marvel 9230 RAID controller. Using onboard RAID is how OWC has managed to squeeze high capacities onto the board and keep it completely compatible within the host MacBook, although that does have its own drawbacks which we'll touch on shortly. And when it comes to installation, it's a relatively simple process which begins with ensuring the MacBook is completely shut down, after which we can remove the screws on the underside of the unit, taking care to make note of the locations of the two longer screws so you get them back into the correct location. And with the plate removed, we can disconnect the internal battery before locating the original SSD and removing the single screw that holds it in place. The Aura SSD can now be inserted, along with the single screw that keeps it firmly in place, after which we can reconnect the battery and replace the covering plate, followed by all screws. At this stage users are free to install the operating system if a fresh install is required as normal, or those who have purchased the complete upgrade kit can now put the Envoy enclosure to use, with a metal construction helping with heat dissipation and a single status LED at one end along with a USB 3 port at the other, the design is very much Apple-like, clean and relatively simple. Opening the drive reveals the controller board in which the Apple SSD can be inserted. It's important to note that the Aura SSD cannot be used in the Envoy Pro enclosure, as the enclosure is specifically designed for the Apple factory drive and will only work with stock Apple drives. Nevertheless, with the screws holding the structure firmly in place, we now have ourselves an affordable yet speedy external drive. Connecting this via USB 3 allows us to boot straight off of the drive and with the use of some cloning software we can quickly and easily copy all data across. Or of course we can install a fresh copy of the operating system if preferred. As mentioned earlier there are some points to note and straight off the bat we can see the Aura SSD is recognised as an external drive. From a hardware perspective, the 1TB Aura drive is actually two SSD controllers raided together with a Marvel 9230 RAID controller. Behind the scenes, the drive is two SSDs, but to the operating system it looks like one big removable disk. Sleep and wake times don't seem notably different, and even file vault encryption works without complaint. The performance is roughly the same as the 128GB SSDs that were shipped with 2013 and 2014 Macs, so if you happen to be upgrading from one of those you won't take a huge performance hit. Nothing noticeable during day to day usage anyway. Apple's 256GB SSDs have faster write speeds than the Aura though, and if you're installing this in one of the 2015 Macs with faster 4 lane PCIe interfaces, you might actually be taking a step backward in performance. The Aura only uses 2 PCIe lanes, so Apple's drive have an advantage here. 
Don't get me wrong though, they're all fast SSDs, but in some cases you will have to give up a little speed in exchange for higher capacities. The main drawback of the odd RAID setup that Aura uses is that the drives won't work with Bootcamp. The built-in Bootcamp Assistant refuses to work on what it views as an external drive. Nevertheless, note that OWC have just released a brand new dual boot utility for users who wish to install a dual boot system with Windows. Also note that the drive can get warm, the thermal pad is there for a reason. During periods of heavy disk activity, the bottom of the MacBook Air got quite warm even though the CPU was mostly idle. It's not hot enough to cause problems, but it gets a fair bit toastier than the stock Apple drive. Nevertheless, the Aura SSD does perform error correction and other maintenance tasks in the background that optimise the health and performance of the drive. These jobs take advantage of available unwritten areas on the SSD by reserving 7% of the overall capacity of free space. With this allocated free space, Aura SSDs can perform these normal maintenance tasks, making the drive more stable, dependable and ultimately a safer place to store your data. In the large part, the Aura delivers on its promise. It's a replacement SSD for your MacBook Airs and Pros and can dramatically increase your capacity without hurting your speed too much, and it's a relatively painless upgrade. The main drawback is that the Aura isn't seen by OSX as a standard internal SSD, which is a problem for those who want to run Bootcamp on their Macs, although OWC now have a dual boot utility which offers a viable solution. Overall though, this is the best and most seamless way to add storage to a newer Mac. The drives are considerably more expensive than standard SATA or M2 PCI Express SSDs on the market, stretching to around $650 for the full 1TB upgrade kit. OWC's full upgrade kit is well worth the extra cash though, both because it gives you the tools you need and because it lets you reuse your old SSD as a slick external hard drive. Unfortunately, I can't see Apple making their MacBooks any more repairable or upgradable in the future, although for the moment, when it comes to raw capacity, the OWC Aura SSD is the best you could hope for. 